And that dollar is divided into four parts. That would be quarters. So one quarter is worth 25%. One out of four that goes into those dollars is worth 25 um, hundredths and 25 cents. And then 25 cents is 25 out of 100, so that is 25% of that dollar, or 25% of the money. So now, let's look at one-fourth shaded. So you saw that there were 25 hundredths shaded. So it's 25 hundredths. And so if, if we're saying a percent is out of 100, we have 25 boxes out of 100 shaded. So it's 25%. And again, if you think about money, one, if you have $1 and that dollar is divided into four parts, that would be quarters. So one quarter is worth 25%. One out of four that goes into those dollars is worth 25 um, hundredths and 25 cents. And then 25 cents is 25 out of 100, so that is 25% of that dollar, or 25% of the money. So now, let's look at one-fourth shaded a little differently. Say we, we wanted to look at each fractional part. So we would shade one out of two, three, four. Shade one, 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 two, three, four. Shade one. So go ahead and finish shading this box like that, then turn the video back on. And now we look at this, and this is shading one out of four. We count all these up, and you should have 25 hundredths, 25 hundredths. And then as a percent, that's 25 out of 100, which is 25%. Okay, so now let's move on to three-fourths. Another one that you really need to know. Okay, so three-fourths, we can separate the box into four parts by going in the middle and in the middle, and then the three tells me to shade three of those. So I shade three. That's half, so how many boxes is that? That's 50 boxes. And this is another fourth, so that's 25 boxes. So how many total would you have shaded? And it is 75 hundredths. Now as a percent, that is the number out of 100 is 75%. So now let's look at it and say you couldn't take this whole and divide it into four equal parts. So you wanted to show it three out of four. So you would shade one, two, three, skip. One, two, three, skip. One, two, three, skip. One, two, three, skip. One, two, three, skip, and then And that's 75 out of 100, so 75%. Okay, let's move on to something different. Um, so these should have been side by side down your page, and you should be at the last box, the fourth box on the bottom of your page. And let's show one tenth. So I'm going to have one out of ten shaded. 1 out of 10, 1 out of 10, 1 out of 10. So you can see that that's coming straight across. That is 10 boxes. So that's 10 hundredths. And so what percent is that? It's 10 out of 100, so it is 10%. And so th knowing this, 
you can visualize each time that it's one tenth that it's one of these whole bars. So it's one out of ten, and then um, if you have two bars, that's two out of ten, and um, so forth. So the whole and the percent that would um, equal seven tenths. So this is interesting. If you say seven tenths, you write decimal seven to show seven tenths. There's 70 of these, and we said that that zero makes it the same, same amount, just 70 hundredths instead of, instead of um, 7 tenths, and that is equal to 70%. And if you look at this and you just think about it, if halfway were worth 50%, then this is a little bit more than that, so it's worth 70%, so less than three-fourths of it. So it's right there at 7 tenths or 70%. So now let's start um, on the, the um, square at the top on the right hand side. And let's say that this is 1 fifth. So this is interesting. If you say 7 tenths, you write decimal 7 to show 7 tenths. There's 70 of these, and we said that that 0 makes it the same. So shade 1 out of 5, and you'll start seeing a pattern. Say that this is 1 fifth. Now 1 out of 5, and notice that this is two lines. And isn't 1 fifth equivalent to 2 tenths? And this shows two tenths. And this is 20 hundredths. And then what is it as a percent? It's out of 100. So it is 20%. So two tenths is the same as one fifth, same as 20 hundredths, 20%. And this is two lines, so this is two tenths, the same way that you say that. And then the next one down, we're going to do two, two fifths. And then the next one down, we're going to do two, two fifths. Okay, so it would be four tenths. One, two, three, four lines. Four tenths, if you say it as a decimal, is like that. If you count how many hundredths we have, it's 40. And so in percent terms, that would be out of 100, we have 40 out of 100, 40%. So for your last exercise, I want you to um, shade 3 fifths, say what that is equal to in tenths, write it as a decimal, and write it as a percent. And then do the same thing with 4 fifths, write it uh, in, as an equivalent in tenths, as a decimal and as a percent. And you'll return this sheet to your class tomorrow where you're going to go over some other ones that aren't so easily shaded um, but are very important for you to know.